the foreign minister from Thailand and Brunei attended online, while Vietnam foreign minister Bui Tan Son attended virtually from his hotel room after he tested positive for the coronavirus upon arrival in Cambodia. Also absent was any representative from Myanmar, whose government announced last Monday that it will not participate in this week's meeting in Cambodia, spurring an invitation to send a non-political representative instead of its chief diplomat. Cambodia, the current Asian chair, said earlier this month that member of regional group had failed to reach consensus on inviting Myanmar foreign minister. Wuna Maungling was appointed foreign minister after military seized power in Myanmar last year, ousting the elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi. The decision to restrict Myanmar's participation reflected a disagreement over Myanmar's lack of cooperation in implementing measures agreed upon by ASEAN last year to help ease the country's violent political crisis after the army's takeover. The head of Myanmar's military government, Senior General Myung Ling, was invited to last October's virtual meeting of ASEAN's leaders because of the disagreement. That rebuke was issued shortly after Myanmar declined to let an ASEAN special envoy meet with Suu Kyi, who has been in detention since military took over. No doubt we might have different views occasionally on some issue, but what family doesn't have them? What I regret most is that the current circumstances did not allow all 10 ministers to be seated together and join hands in addressing all the challenges facing our community. But ASEAN is a strong family, and as such, we will always do our best to help those who are having difficult times. ASEAN was chaired by Brunei when it snubbed Mingong Ling, but under its annual rotation system, Cambodia now heads the group. Cambodia's Prime Minister Hun Sen has said he believes it is important that Myanmar attends the next summit. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your warm welcoming.